Are you a heart-centered teacher torn between the desire to uplift people and the longing for a greater abundance and freedom in your life? Then you'll want to hear the story of how my son, Matt, found his path when a yogi on a rooftop in India saw the color of his aura. A number of years ago, my son, Matt, was about to graduate from a four-year study uh, at the University of San Diego. Uh, he was graduating cum laude in biology, chemistry, because he was on track to become a doctor. He called me one day and he said, I've got two applications in front of me, Mom. One is to follow the path of being a doctor, which I've thought I was going to do for all these years. And the other is an application to become a teacher. And in the last year, there's just this voice that's been going on inside of me that says, teacher. And it doesn't make sense. You know, doctors make more money, and that's why I thought I should pursue that path. But this, this voice inside of me keeps saying, teacher. And he said, would you be mad at me? If I, after four years and, you know, us investing well over $100,000 in this education, well, actually not us investing, you investing in this education, would you be mad at me if I changed course right now? And, you know, there's certain moments in your parenting where you, you, at the end, after it's over, you feel like I got that one right. This was one of those. I didn't always get it right, but this was one of those moments for me. Uh, would you be mad at me if I changed course? And I said, Matt, I'm going to give you the same advice that my dad gave me when I was at a crossroads. Should I go this way or should I go that way? There's only one thing you can do. I said, well, what is that? He said, you have to do what gives you life. And the moment I said that to Matt, Matt said, I know which one of these gives me life. Three weeks later, I was taking a group of people on a pilgrimage to India, taking people in pilgrimages all around the world. And I'd invited my son, who was just had just graduated from college, now to come with me on this spiritual pilgrimage in India. While we were in one of the little towns in India, one of the uh, travelers, one of the pilgrims said, uh, we have access to meet with a yogi today, my husband and I, and we can take two more people. Would you and Matt like to come? And I said, meet with a yogi. And they he said, yes, the, the, the tradition they were from said, this guy is really amazing. And he made room to meet with the four of us. And so I accepted and I asked Matt if he wanted to come. He said, yes. And we made our way through all these tiny little streets uh, in these little tiny, through this village um, with, you know, carts coming by with vegetables in them and pulled by donkeys and the smell of curry in the kitchens. We came to this one house and walked in the stairs around the outside of it to the rooftop. And there were some chairs, uh, plastic chairs, one of which this man sitting in a Corona chair which Matt pointed out to me. He goes, I don't know about this guy with white hair and a white robe sitting in a corona chair on a roof in India. And Matt's sensor really got going and he's, I don't know if I want to do this. And I said, well, you don't have to. You don't have to talk to this guy. Uh, I said, just let's just see what happens. And so the first person went and sat in the chair in front of the teacher, the guru, and um, the yogi. And he put his hand on her forehead and she closed her eyes. And then he said to her, your aura, which means the colors around you. And then he described what they all meant. And she came back and she said, that was amazing for me. That was so helpful for me. And so her husband went and he sits in the chair in front of the yogi who puts his hand on his head. He closes his eyes and then he pulls away and he says, and these are the colors of your aura, yellow, red, green, purple. He describes all this. And the man came back and said, he's the real deal. So I said to Matt, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to go next. And I'll let you know what I think. So I went and I sat in front of, uh, he put his hand on my forehead. And then he described things that I knew he had an intuitive sense to pick up about me. And it was very helpful. And I felt wonderful. And when I asked Matt, I said, Matt, what's your reticence? He said, I've just made this important decision for myself that I'm not going to become a doctor and I'm going to become a teacher. I don't want him messing my mind with questioning that decision. And I said, well, you don't have to do this. But after hearing the three of us saying this man had impacted us with his revelations, he said, all right, I'm going to try it. So he goes and he sits in the chair and the man puts his hand on Matt's forehead. And Matt, unlike the other three of us, didn't close his eyes. In fact, he was pretty much sitting like this. And the man was had his hand on Matt's forehead, and then he pulled back and he said, young men, your aura is yellow. Everybody else had multiple colors. Matt would later say, I felt I started to feel aura deficient in that moment. 
young man, your aura is yellow. And he goes, and? And he says, pure yellow, all, only yellow, all yellow. And Matt says, well, what does that mean? And the yogi leans in and he says, yellow is the color of a teacher. What do you plan to do with your life? And Matt said, I mean, he had tears in his eyes and chills all the way from the top of his head to the tips of his toes. And he says, well, funny you should say that because I just made the decision three weeks ago not to go to medical school, but become a teacher. And this yogi on a rooftop in India leaned in, took Matt's hand in his, pulled him close. And he said to him, good job, way to listen. <laughs> good job, way to listen. And the truth is, that spirit or the essence of teaching is not only reserved for the classrooms because here's what's happened for Matt. He thought he would go into classroom teaching. He thought he would teach high school kids biology and coach them in football. And he did that for a time. But over time, the desire to teach moved beyond the classroom. And no, Matt had no idea whatsoever, you know, on that makeshift desk at a college dorm room that by deciding to become a teacher, it would ultimately lead him to writing a best-selling book that Simon & Schuster would, would publish at a multiple six-figure um, signing agreement, you know, in advance, that he would be on the Today Show not once but multiple times, uh, that his teaching would culminate in a best-selling book, speaking on Oprah Friends, uh, CBS, ABC, uh, and, and generating a work in the world that, that impacts millions and millions of people, a YouTube channel today that has over 10 million subscribers has been seen over a hundred million times with his teaching. Now, you don't have to travel to India or discover the color of your aura to find that you have an inner voice that is calling you to new and expanded paths of service and more abundant life, I believe, making the level of impact that feels meaningful to you. In the case of my son, Matt went on to follow his path as a teacher, serving and uplifting people, ultimately creating a coaching program, in, particularly in the area of love and relationship. And at the same time, his own life lifted and expanded. He is the director and the co-founder of our coaching certification program at Ray Thinking Institute. Whatever the teaching you want to do, this is a path that is open to you as well. Because becoming a transformational life coach is a sacred calling where you get to live your life's purpose in teaching and guiding and nurturing the lives of others. Not only that, but when you decide to honor your life's meaning and fulfill your true purpose in an even greater way, you're going to find you're able to set your own hours work a whole, with a whole lot more time freedom, earn the income that you've dreamed of. And all the while, you're helping others have the results that they're longing for as well. So if there's any part of you that feels interested in this, then I have a gift for you. I created it just for you. It's Are You Meant to Be a Life Coach ebook. It's free. And inside the ebook, I reveal my insights of over 40 plus years as a transformational life coach so that you can propel yourself to success from the start and create a life full of meaning that you absolutely love. So you'll find out a whole lot more about this. Click below, download your free copy today, because in just a few of those pages, you're going to learn how to set yourself up for success as a life coach. I'll walk you through everything you need to know to start your coaching journey. And I'll do that so that you can embody your purpose, share your wisdom while you're guiding others and enjoy the freedom and abundance that you desire and I believe deserve.